And David Kosh, first of all, congratulations. This is your dream. This is your vision. Here we are. It's a long way from Queen Street, Alberton. It is a long way from Queen Street, Alberton. I'll tell you what, at five o'clock while we celebrate, I'm actually packing them at the moment, thinking, right, is everything going to go OK? But it just looks spectacular, and the feel of the place is just wonderful. Your success so far, sponsors, agreements with the South Australian government and, and the, uh, the Institute over here, everything seems to be working the right way. Look, it's part of a big strategy we've been working on for three years, remember. This all started with little business lunches in Hong Kong and it's baby steps, it's making mistakes, it's learning from those mistakes and then we eventually, it's hard to believe, I've really got to pinch myself that we've actually flame and pulled it off. <laughs> Have you put any pressure on, Ken? Because seriously... <laughs> This is a lot more than four points for Port oh, Adelaide. Look, OK, let's keep it in perspective. The game is a bit of our overall strategy. The game is our calling card in China that says, we respect you, thank you for having us, we're here for the long term. Um, the game, the result of the game, yes, we want to win, obviously we want to win, um, but it is only a little bit of a much grander plan, so it all fits in. Are we thinking further ahead for next year? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We pulled this off today. Uh, it will be an annual marquee event on the AFL calendar, and the AFL Commission and Gill are so supportive of that. Fantastic. Once again, congratulations. Right. Thanks, mate. So the moment has arrived. The players are out there doing their warm-up. It brings a smile to not only David Kosh's face, but to so many people that have been involved. I'm with Lee Matthews, Rodney Eid, and also Ken Hinckley. Ken, it's hard not to get carried away with the moment. I mean, you've lived this for a while, but how's the week gone for you guys? Yeah, it looks been a really positive week, Bruce. Um, you know, it's, it's exciting. Right now, it's really exciting. The boys have just come on the ground for their warm-up. You can just sense that they, they're a little bit up and about about the whole occasion now. We've got to get out there and play footy, and that's the main thing for us now. Now Rocket has turned up, but it's an unfamiliar environment, a long way from the Gold Coast. This Gold Coast weather? Yes, it is, Lee. Um, obviously, um, you know, it was 31 yesterday. I think it's going to be 27, 28 today and a bit of humidity. So uh, I think you know, the fact we've trained in that a fair bit will be a plus for us. Now, obviously, it's a big occasion, but actually preventing the occasion impinging on the performance of your players, that's the challenge for someone in your position. How you handled that? Uh, for sure, Lee. Um, yeah, I, I suppose the, you know, the flight's always a long one and, and you wonder how players are going to pull up, but they've put up really well. Um, now that, now they recovered within the 24 hours. We've, we've had two training sessions. Everything's gone really well. Everything's gone to plan. So, uh, sort of from our, from, you know, from our point of view, looking forward to it. Just one final one for me about the, the game itself. I mean, you're scoring good, so are Port, but you're getting scored against. That's the real the problem that you've got to overcome to, to get the win. Yeah, for sure. That, um, no, that, no, that's, uh, that's a work in progress. You know, we think our uh, defensive uh, shape and actions are, are improving. We're getting better. Uh, but but that's, the, you know, that's certainly the one area we need to get better. And you'd be aware of, Ken, I mean, the ability of Gold Coast to, uh, to move the ball, but they do probably give you a chance or two. Yeah, certainly do, but they've got such power around the ball at, uh, in the midfield. You know, their stoppage works elite, you know, and they've got a couple of uh, pretty special forwards up the other end, and, and May and Thompson down back really does stiffen them up. We know we're in for a real challenge, though, but this competition says that every doesn't it? You only got to look at results. If you don't play at your best, you're going to get in trouble. Tagging's become very popular over the last couple of weeks. They've got a bloke called Gary Ablett. Now, you're standing alongside Rocket. Are you thinking about it, Ken? I'm certainly thinking about Gary. It's his birthday today. I don't want him to have two. <laughs> you know him pretty well. But it's well. the same principle, Rocket. Because last night, apparently, Rory Slane was kept out of the game. The Crows got beaten. Just the principle of sitting on an opposition play was something coaches in general don't seem to be wanting to do in the modern era. Um, yeah, I, I, think it's, uh, I think it's a valuable... I think with the 80-man team defence, probably coaches are allowed to do it. But I think there's a place for it. There's no doubt if you, you can stop the opposition best players, you know, you know, it's only going to help you. And Ken, to both of you, I mean, well done. It's been a long journey, I know, but uh, we just can't wait for it all to take that first bounce for it all to happen. Yeah, thanks, Bruce. It's been really brave by both clubs to get here. I mean, Paul, we've driven it a fairly hard, but to have the Suns and ourselves here today, what a, what a great occasion for Australian football. I mean, we can't thank everyone enough for making it work. And we asked the Port Adelaide players just what they know about China.